All right, Carup K. Suede's here again. Update after about an hour of um, gluing and all that shit. Anyways, it seems to have um, properly been, the socket is a bit lower. I'm hoping as soon as I start screwing in the Zers tank that that socket's gonna come back up a bit. Um, that thing opens up it's fine. I turned it on, it knows it's got no atomizer. And it's ready. And by the way, the lock is here. It locks also the fire button. Oh, I just put it in sleep mode. Oops. Uh, let's turn that back on. Get back to the point. Unlock it. By the way, I, I, I still want to get onto that point there. Look, see how it says unlocked for the wattage? Usually on the Legend 1, you will press both of these buttons, right? So we go up and down, right? Let's press both. Hold it. I'm holding both. I'm holding them. Holding it as long as I can, and nothing happens at all. So, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, it's glued. Uh, I got a bit of glue over here. I'll remove that later. Let's screw this boy on. This guy, I just tested it on my um, Legend Zers. So it works. I've been smoking it all day. Oh, vaping it all day. Now, okay, I'm going to have to do this with my underarm. Alright. I think I got it. Wait, no, it's still turning. Oh, please don't turn and break. Because it's, it's actually not even um, the piece that's in there that you screw this into. It's not even um, screwed. It's not even glued or screwed. It's just sitting inside of the plastic of this freaking thing inside of this kind of socket. It doesn't even clip in, it just kind of fits in. And that's it. So I'm afraid if I turn this thing too much, it will fuck up. Oh, there we go. Now, what's it asking me? Yes, let's go with the new one. All right, 80 watts is exactly what we need for this. There's a um, coil. Okay. See, let's just test it without. Okay. Okay, let's go and um, go and test this over here. All right, I think I fixed it. Well, anyways, the cables weren't broken. The only thing that was uh, that was actually freaking me out the most was the um, positive and negative um, kind of bowls they looked like. You saw in my other videos, it was like some kind of bowls down there, and they're not glued or they're not they're not screwed. You just kind of like try and put them in the right position so that the <laughs> so that the clamp on here, the top here, with springs, gets into it. So, and at the same time, I had to try and manage to get the middle guy in at the same time, too, properly, while having the glue there, which takes like 30 seconds to um, take effect, so I had to hurry the heck up without fucking up. So, I, I added more glue. I added glue all along the sidings. So this thing, if this falls down, and this is how it fell the first time, it fell, I'm not gonna kid you, I'm gonna put my feet here for you guys. It fell from about this high, but it fell like this. Clock, and when it fell like that, it snapped right off. <sighs> right now it works. I'm happy. But I best not drop this thing because it's just plastic, as I said. Here. So now you can lock this without turning it off. 
which is kind of cool. USB-C, I'm not gonna use that because they just don't charge at the right rate. I have my own um, charger batteries. It's 18650s. This piece here is plastic. The button's plastic. This button's plastic. This here is not exactly the same texture as this as the screen on the Legend One. The button's plastic. Legend One does have plastic ones, but these feel cheaper, really cheaper. And this here, it's not the same metal. It's a mix of plastic and metal, something like that. Or it can't be a mix of plastic and metal. That's stupid. Anyhow, the only protection it's got, it's on its charger, this little line of rubber at the worst possible spot. I mean, come on, is it gonna, well, how is that gonna protect it? Here's the other rubber. Yeah. Let's see that rubber. Oh, it's a little, okay, it's a bit here, but I mean, and this thing's plastic again, and it's oh, and it's so touchy. It's like, whoop, there you go. Then you barely, barely, barely bring it back. It's barely in there. It's like a tiny clip, tinier than the last one. Ah, oh. I'm not content, geek vape. I know you probably guys are not watching this. Even though I sent you guys the links. Oh, look at that. That's dumb. Anyways. I like the design. I hate the material. It's smooth. And I, I don't like the UI. Also, there's some issues with it. Like the wattage lock. And I can't select certain things and shit. It's a no buy. Don't buy. Don't buy this yet. Wait. Wait for. It. Whoop, there we go. Pooping out batteries. Don't buy this. I'll find those batteries later. Wait for a remake, version two, if they ever do one. I mean, the screws serve no purpose. Oh, it's a bloody joke. I, I just don't know what to say. But I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be careful with it now. <laughs> Very careful. And I'll use it until it dies. Geeky Vape, I used to love you guys. But you broke my heart with this. A lot of haters out there are gonna hate me. I don't care. At least I'm showing you guys how crappy they made their new one. It's not the indestructible beast. It's the destructible. Zers.